As part of our series on renewable energy, I'd like to talk a little bit about wind power. So first of all, let me explain briefly, I think most people learn this thing as school children, but let's review. Why does the wind blow? Well, the wind blows because the sun shines. The Earth's surface is composed of different types of uh, environments. You've got oceans and lakes and deserts and forests. And when the sun shines, it heats up the surface of the Earth unevenly. So for instance, it may be super hot right here, and relatively cold over here. Well, what happens when air gets hot? It tends to rise, and air tends to f fill in that little vacuum that was just formed by the Earth, by the winds rising, by the air's rising. So what does that leave us with? So it's, it's essentially a different form of solar energy. So having said that, let's take a look at what we've done with respect to wind. People have been harnessing the power of wind for thousands of years. Um, we've been sailing the oceans. The Dutch famously pumped the uh, water out of their land. We wouldn't have the Netherlands if it weren't for the fact that those people figured out how to do that hundreds of years ago. So this is a wonderful technology that's been around a long time. It's very mature. We know pretty much how to extract the energy out of wind. Um, it's also, because of that, it's inexpensive. It's getting to the point where it's almost as inexpensive to generate electricity with wind as it is with coal. Now that'll be exciting when we get there. Now who wants to burn something that's poisoning us um, when you can simply uh, put up a wind turbine and extract that energy that, in, in a completely clean way? That's exciting stuff. Having said that, wind is intermittent. Coal isn't. You burn a coal power plant um, 24 hours a day, it provides a base load, in other words, a consistent um, amount of, of power distributed 24 hours a day. So the wind obviously doesn't blow with that level of consistency. So that means that essentially we're going to have to store that energy at a certain point. So, and, and how do we do that? Well, there are various ways of doing it, and some of them are very clever, and, and these are being developed all the time, but they come at a cost. So now all of a sudden, this kind of evenness, this equality in the cost goes away when you add in the cost of storage. Another thing to say about wind is that most people, not everybody, but most people find them unattractive. Wind farms, big, you know, masses of wind turbines over, over a thousand square miles. Most people would rather see the natural beauty of a prairie or what have you as opposed to a wind farm. Having said that, Personally, I think there's a great deal of beauty in the fact that we're, for every revolution that that, that turbine blade is making, we're, we're burning a little less coal. There's a certain beauty in that to me and, and certainly to other people as well. But anyway, that's essentially what we're doing with wind. I think um, we're at about 1% of it here in the United States. Other countries around the world are doing magnificent work. We're eventually going to be putting them offshore where nobody can see them. So look for wind to play an important role going forward.